The Means of Persevering in the Grace of God Written by St. Alphonsus Liguri, Doctor of the Church In order to obtain eternal salvation, it is not sufficient to wish, to be saved, but we must further use the means, which have been left us by Jesus Christ. Otherwise, if we commit sins, it will not avail us in the day of judgment, to excuse ourselves by saying, that the temptations were great, and we were weak. Because God has given us the means, through His grace, of conquering all the assaults of our enemies. If, then, we do not take advantage of them, and are overcome, the fault will be our own. All men desire to be saved, but because they omit to employ the means of salvation, they sin, and are lost. There are six means to be employed, whereby we can persevere in the grace of God, and save our souls. The first means is, to avoid all occasions of sin. It is impossible for anyone, who does not endeavor to flee from the occasions of sin, especially in the matter of sensual pleasures, to avoid falling into sin. For the occasion is like a veil, put before our eyes, so that we can see nothing else, neither God, nor hell, nor the resolution we had made. As regards occasions, we must in this matter, do violence to ourselves, resolutely overcoming all human respect. Those who do not use violence to themselves, will not be saved. The second means, is mental prayer, without which the soul will find it almost impossible, to remain a long time, in the grace of God. He who often meditates on the four last things, will not fall into sin. If these truths are not meditated on, they vanish from the mind. And then, when the pleasures of the senses present themselves to the imagination, they carry us away altogether. This is the reason, why so many abandon themselves to vice, and are damned. Resolve, then, to make every day, half an hour's meditation, or at least, read some spiritual book, taking care from time to time, to excite some good affection, or to make some aspiration. If you do not discontinue this prayer, you will certainly be saved. The third means, is the frequenting of the sacraments, of holy confession and holy communion. By frequent confession, the soul keeps itself purified, and by it, it not only obtains remission of sins, but also greater strength, to resist temptations. Holy communion is called the heavenly bread, because just as common bread preserves the life of the body, so holy communion preserves the life of the soul. Except you eat the flesh of the Son of Man, and drink his blood, you shall not have life in you. John 6 verse 54 On the other hand, to those who often eat this bread, eternal life is promised. If any man eat of this bread, he shall live forever. John 6 verse 52 Therefore, the Council of Trent calls Holy Communion, the medicine which delivers us from venial sins, and preserves us from mortal ones. You should, then resolve, to go to communion, at least once a week, being determined not to give it up, for anything in the world, as there is no affair of greater importance, than that of your eternal salvation. Indeed, the more you remain in the world, the greater need you have of assistance, because your temptations are so great. The fourth means, is to hear Holy Mass every day. Holy Mass, wrote Saint Bonaventure, is an achievement of God, wherein he places before our view, all the love he has borne us. It is, in a certain way, a combination of all the benefits bestowed upon us. Therefore, Saint John Bosco earnestly exhorts us. Take great care to go to Holy Mass, even on weekdays, and for such a cause, be willing to put up with some inconvenience. 
thereby you will obtain every kind of blessing from the Lord. The fifth means, is to make a visit every day, to the most holy sacrament in some church, and to the Divine Mother, before some devout image. Saint John Bosco, with the great heart of a saint, encourages us still more. Do you want the Lord to give you many graces? Visit Him often. Do you want Him to give you few graces? Visit Him rarely. Do you want the devil to attack you? Visit Jesus rarely in the Blessed Sacrament. Do you want Him to flee from you? Visit Jesus often. Do you want to conquer the devil? Take refuge often at the feet of Jesus. Do you want to be conquered by the devil? Forget about visiting Jesus. My dear ones, the visit to the Blessed Sacrament is an extremely necessary way to conquer the devil. Therefore, go often to visit Jesus, and the devil will not come out victorious against you. You may be sure, that of all the moments of your life, the time you spend before the Divine Sacrament, will be that, which will give you more strength during life, and more consolation at the hour of your death, and during eternity. The sixth means, the most necessary of all, to put in practice, is holy prayer. It is certain, that without the divine assistance, we can do nothing good for our souls. God also has declared, that graces are granted to those only, who ask for them. He who prays, shall certainly be saved, and he who prays not, shall certainly be damned. 